So if you didn't know, gas prices are kind of at an all-time high. Because of this, many people are seriously considering EV cars. If you just got a Tesla and you're watching these quick tips, make sure you watch my quick tip videos on how to charge with a J1172 plug that you'll find at many malls, as well as how to charge at a Tesla supercharger. Now, according to ChargePoint, these J1172 or level two chargers can take up to three hours to fill up your car with around 80 miles of range. So what if you wanted to charge your car faster than a J1172 at those other huge EV stations with those gigantic plugs, also known as fast DC charging? These chargers are perfect because it can charge around 80 miles in as little as 30 minutes. Yes, it's not as good as a Tesla supercharger, but it's still way better and faster than a J1172 plug. Today, I'm gonna to do a quick video on what you need to know. What is up, guys? It's Chris with Everybody Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Quick Tips with Chris, where I make quick, short, concise videos on things you need to know about your Tesla. If you want more detailed videos, then check out my other playlist, Chris Talks Tesla. First, especially with our US president passing a $5 billion bill to allow more EV charging throughout the United States, learning how to use non-Tesla high rate charging is a good idea. If you haven't seen them, there are those huge looking charging stations with these giant plugs. All the popular EV charging stations usually have them like ChargePoint, EVgo, and Electrify America. Some of them do include a Tesla plug, but most of the time it doesn't. When I first got my Tesla, I thought I could charge with those giant plugs, but unfortunately you cannot as the plug is not the same as the Tesla chargers. However, it can be super helpful to charge at those high rate DC chargers in case there aren't any superchargers available in the area or if there isn't even any around. And again, because this new bill has passed, there should be a ton more of those high DC chargers around. And again, let's not forget the possibility that Elon may allow non-Tesla EVs to charge at Tesla superchargers in America. And if you're anywhere else in the world, Europe, Germany, Asia, you'll probably see way more of these giant DC chargers compared to Tesla superchargers. So first let's talk about the soon to be outdated Chademo, I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly, plug. These plugs used to be the main plug used for high speed charging all over the world. However, it's not that compatible anymore. So mostly all the companies like Nissan and countries like South Korea, Europe, and the US are all transitioning to the more versatile CCS plug. So if you're considering it, do not buy the Chademo adapter on the Tesla website because pretty soon it'll just be a giant paperweight. Now, Tesla's website only sells the CCS1 to Tesla adapter in Korea, weirdly, but it should be available worldwide soon. You can also pick up some aftermarket ones like the Electron one. So we're here at the charge point. CCS1 is this one right here. It's gonna look like this. And there's a couple steps that we have to take. We have to turn it on first and then plug it in, wait 10 seconds, and let's see if this works after the firmware update. We're now charging at 43 kilowatts. The company itself is solid, as I have their Tesla to J1172 adapter, and it works great. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, make sure that your current Tesla vehicle is compatible with the CCS1 adapter, because a lot of the older cars aren't. The way to do this is simply go to your car menu and look under more details, and it should say whether or not it is compatible or not installed with the CCS1 adapter. However, if it is compatible, you should definitely pick up a CCS1 to Tesla adapter. This is gonna be the new gold standard for high-speed charging and EV stations everywhere. Anyways, I hope that video helps you guys. I highly recommend getting one again. We just went on a road trip and we saw a ton of CCS plugs. However, there weren't that many Tesla superchargers around. So having that CCS adapter would have been super useful. Anyways, see you guys next time.